Good morning, Ludlow High School. I'm Alyssa Cody. And I'm Reese Deshays, and welcome to the Friday, October 27th, Halloween edition of the Lion's Roar. Before we get into the show, could you please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Here are a few announcements to start out the show. Hey seniors, do you like free stuff? How about a free t-shirt? Today is the last day to tell us your t-shirt size. Please find your class officers during all three lunches and let them know what size you prefer. Any questions, please see your class officers, Miss Sands, Miss Valentine, or Miss Gothier. Also, seniors, who wants to go on a road trip? Join us on our class trip to Patriot Place on Wednesday, November 15th. Today is the last day to turn in your permission slips and payment to secure your spot on the bus. Please return your paperwork to Miss Sands or Miss Valentine. Be ready for a day of mystery. Today the cooking club will be drawing the three winners for the cookie of the month raffle, so see Miss Bernard to get your tickets. Winners will receive a dozen cookies every month for the rest of the year. The Faith Club meets every Monday from 2 to 2.55 p.m. in Miss LaValle's room B110. On Monday, October 30th, they will be discussing why bad things happen to good people. On Monday, November 5th, they will be watching the film The Case for Christ from 2.15 to 4.30 and includes popcorn and a drink, and all students are welcome. The Ludlow Athletic Department will be accepting winter sports registration starting October 28th through Family ID. To avoid a $25 late fee, please register by Sunday, November 19th. For more information, registration instructions, and tryout dates and times, please visit www.ludlowathletics.org. On Wednesday, the LHS band gave their annual Halloween band bash performance here in the auditorium. It was an entertaining performance and everyone was in the Halloween spirit. If you missed it, here is a short clip of some highlights. With Halloween coming up this Tuesday, we wanted to see what everyone will be dressing up as. So TJ and I went out and asked some students. Here's what they had to say. What do you want to be for Halloween? I'm um, thinking like maybe like, I don't know, Donald Trump or a clown. Um, I think I'm going to be a zombie ballerina. Uh, for Halloween, I'm going to be a Hawaiian guy with my friend Cam Kozaka. Well, my four-year-old is going to be Darth Vader, so I've been ordered to be a stormtrooper. I'm going to be Andrew Santos for Halloween. Um, I'm going to be a high-flying ninja. I'm going to be Sandy from Greece. What about you? I'm going to be Moana. Uh, I'm going to be a pumpkin. I'm going to be a lamp. I'm going to be Kermit the Frog, and I'm going to mind my own business. <laughs> I want to be something spooky this Halloween. I'm going to be the scariest ghost people have ever seen, ever. <laughs> so, Reese, honestly, what's your favorite Halloween candy? Probably have to say Sour Patch Kids. Good choice. Dressing up in costumes is fun, but the best thing about Halloween is the candy. Reese and TJ also asked a few people around the school what their favorite Halloween candy is. Here's what they had to say. What's your favorite Halloween candy? My favorite Halloween candy's got to be either Skittles or M&M's, but if I see anyone handing out those popcorn balls, I'm going to be very disappointed. <laughs> Reese's Pieces. Mine are pretzels. I'm a Twix fan. Got to go with uh, Baby Ruth's or 100 Grands. I'm going to have to go with the Snickers. Um, I like anything sour. I like Twix. A Charleston Chew. Caramellos. All right, thank you. Now let's check out the lunch menu for next week. Monday, we're having chicken noodle soup, grilled ham and cheese sandwich with chips, carrots, and fruit. On Tuesday, it's chicken fajitas with lettuce, tomato, sour cream and salsa, brown rice, corn, and fruit. Unfortunately, we don't have the menu yet for November. Now let's go check out the weekend weather forecast with Sydney. 
Friday will be sunny with a high of 60 and a low of 41. Saturday will also be sunny with a high of 68 and a low of 48. Sunday will rain with a high of 65 and a low of 48. Now back to you guys. Now let's update you on scores from this past week. On Friday, the boys' soccer team defeated Mount Greylock by a score of 2-1, and the girls' soccer team beat East Long Meadow 3-0. Also, on Friday, the football team had a big win over Belchertown by a score of 33-8. On Monday, the girls' volleyball team lost their match 3-1 to Westfield. The golf team placed sixth in the Western Mass Championships also on Monday. Lastly, on Tuesday, the girls' volleyball team lost to Long Meadow 3-1. The fall sports season is winding down, but there is still some time to catch a few games. Tonight, the football team will take on Drury at home for their senior night at 7 p.m., and it's senior night also for the girls' volleyball team at home against Renaissance at 6 p.m. Sunday, the boys' and girls' cross-country teams will head to Stanley Park for the PVOC Championship at 3 p.m. On Monday, it's senior night for the boys' and girls' soccer teams. The boys will play West Springfield at home at 5 p.m., and the girls will also play West Springfield at home at 7 p.m. This week, we'd like to recognize Megan Seligman of the JV Volleyball Team at LHS Athlete of the Week. Megan's coach nominated her because of her attitude and improved performance. She has helped lead the team to a successful season with her presence, consistency, and leadership. Congratulations, Megan. Well, that's it for this week's show. I'm Reese Deshaies. And I'm Alyssa Cody. Have a great weekend, and we'll see you all next Friday.